So what we're going to do here is we're going to we're going to add the pixel to the page and we're going to also set up a custom conversion. So this is the thank you page. We're going to also make sure that the same pixel is on the opt in page. Right. So let's hit settings to the left and let's go to tracking. And then what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down and we're going to delete this pixel. Let's get rid of that one. Let's start from 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 scratch. Just copy the whole thing, delete the whole thing. And then now let's go into the events manager and let's make sure that, um, and in fact, let's delete these. So hit manage, let's get rid of these ones, manage, and then click um, the drop down next to rename and then delete. So let's delete that one. Let's delete the 15 miles, delete the seller guide leads. Let's delete, delete all of them. And we're gonna just start from, from scratch. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll make sure that we have the right pixel. So hit three lines to the left and go back to events manager. And then over here, we want to make sure that we're using just one pixel. So no, we're not going to do anything right there. So let's let's make sure that this is the right one here. It's RSV sells homes, right? Hit the drop down to the top right. What other accounts do you have in there? Okay, so the top one. We want the top one, the one with the profile picture. Yeah, the one with the funky picture. Yep. Okay. There we go. So so this is so it's that top that top one that we want. We're not going to use junk pixel. We're not going to use the, the third one down. We're going to use this top one. Okay. So, mm -hmm. um, so verify your website domain. It should have been, should have been verified. Let's, let's double check that real quick. Go to the three lines to the left and click on business settings. And then let's go to, um, to brand safety to the left brand safety down, and then you'll see domains. Okay, so that's verified. RFVsellerguide.com. That's that's already so we're good there. Okay, so let's hit the three lines. Let's go back to events manager. And then um, sometimes you'll see notifications here, which which just disregard. Hit the three dots to the to the top right, the next to the yeah, those three dots, and then just click on ignore or mark complete or whatever. It's fine. Okay, so now scroll down. So this is where this pixel is at. Click on add events, that drop down to the left, add events. And then from a new website, we're going to go from a new website and then click on install code manually. And then we're going to, um, so go ahead and click on, go to pixel overview. This is a new little setup here. Click on um, install base code, the top left, install base code. And then right here, copy code. Okay, this is our pixel. So this is the one we're using. So go back to Kartra, um, paste it in. And then what we want to do is we want to apply it, save progress actions in the top right, save progress, publish live. And when, when you publish it live, you always want to, to, um, to um, get, the, get the actual, yeah, publish live. And then we want to get the link and open it up in a new tab, just so Facebook can read, read it for the first. You can copy the whole thing, but yeah, you can do it that way either, either way. But yeah, so that way Facebook can now read it again for the first time. We get a new, a new fresh, a new fresh, fresh view. So that's the thank you page. Now let's go back, leave it open. We'll, we'll or yeah, don't X out. Just leave it here. Go back to Kartra. Now let's um, close actions, return a dashboard. Actually, copy the copy the copy the, the pixel again from here. You might as well just grab it from here real quick. Copy the whole damn thing. Make sure it's make sure it's all of it. Make sure you've got all of it. Okay, that 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 that's. That, that should have been all of it. Okay, so so we copy all of it, and then now this actions return a dashboard, and then we're gonna put the same thing on the landing page. Okay, cool. So we'll hit tracking code on the landing page. We'll get rid of this one, put the new one, and then apply. Okay, and then save progress, publish live, grab the link, open it up in a new tab, and then and then we'll return to dashboard. Save progress, publish live. Okay, so now we know that these two pages have have the right pixel. Now, what we want to do real quick also um, is we want to make sure that that same pixel is on the call confirm page. Okay. So, um, so yeah, so go ahead and check your pixel helper. Yeah, go ahead and close, and then um, you can you can return a dashboard. We'll have to grab the pixel again, but that's fine. But check, go back to the thank you page, go back to the opt-in page at the top and, and just check your pixel helper. 
So the, we should be seeing the same pixel. No, go to open up the page. Yeah, right there. So check your pixel helper. That's uh, 7883. And then the other one, um, 7883. Okay, so we have the same pixel. Let's do the same pixel. We're going to have to grab it from the events manager again. Oh, I should still have it on copy paste. Are you sure? I think you copy paste, you copied the link. You just opened up the pay, the Karcher page. Okay. But do it again. Yeah, copy code. Yeah. So okay. so now let's go to the call confirm page because that that one's important um, as well. Call confirm. So we'll edit and let's let's add the pixel here as well. Okay. So this is our our call confirm page. Want to make sure that the pixel is on this page as well. Yep. Perfect. Okay, cool. So now we have our three pages, landing page, thank you page, call confirm page. So let's focus on these three pages. So now let's go to, um, let's go to the events manager and let's, uh, yeah, let's close that part out. You always want to close that part out, the cart, go back to Kartra. Yeah, close this out and then return to dashboard. Try to never leave it idling like that. Okay. Always, always save it and, and exit. Okay, cool. So so we're good, we're good there. Now let's go to the events manager. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our custom conversion. So click the three lines to the left and go back to the events manager. And then to the left, you're gonna see the blue triangle, hover over that, click on custom conversions. Okay, so now we're gonna, we're gonna create custom conversion. Um, all URL traffic, let's click on that dropdown. Yeah, go to name the conversion. This is seller guide leads or, or something like that, whatever. Um, Seller's guide leads. Yeah. Okay. That's the name of your conversion. Okay. So now hit the drop down conversion event, all URL. Let's go to um, actually, no, actually, I'm sorry, leave that there. Click on select your own category. It's select your own category and then hit that drop down. And then so now we're going to go down a lead. So we're going to categorize this as a lead, but we're going to put it, uh, make it very specific. And it's, it's those who land on this link. So paste in that link at the bottom. So this is our thing. Actually, I don't think you have it. Click, go to the thank you page at the top. Schedule your call now, I believe it is. Yeah, this one. So grab everything except for the www. Yeah, make sure you don't, yeah, just the letters. Perfect. Okay, so this is the thank you page. This is our custom conversion. So we're gonna paste it in there. And then um, we're gonna, yeah, so we have all that. All that's good. Okay, perfect. So we're good. So say, let's go ahead and create. Okay, so now we're going to the new setup. So go to settings um, right here. And then so over here, over here, what we wanna do is just make sure that we have, um, scroll to the left and go to, um, go to custom conversions. Okay, so we're in, so just add events, click on, click on add assets, excuse me, add assets to the right, add assets. Mm. And then go ahead and tie, click on that circle, RS fence. Yeah, click on that one and then add. Okay, cool. So that was added. That was so important. The custom conversion needs to be connected to, to, um, to click on connected assets to what, what did we just connect? We just to the right connected assets. We just connected the ad account. So the custom conversion needs to be connected to the ad account. That's what we just did right there. Okay. 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 Okay, so um, so now let's go back to the other events manager tab that's open to the left. And now we're gonna go to number two. So go to web configurations. So now we're gonna just configure it over here as well. So let's get rid of these ones. Um, we don't, unless you need that one. Is that your bright cloud? I don't know what this is. I don't know what that is either. So to the very, very right, hit that drop down and go to, um, yeah, I don't know where this came from. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Okay, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that what that is. But um, click on the top one. So let's just go to the RS. Yeah, click on that one, and then go ahead and click on. So let's. These are all. Yeah, these are all all older ones. Yeah. So click, click on edit. Okay. So now let's get rid of all of these. I don't know where these came from, but let's get rid of all of them to the very, very right. You're going to hit the X. We just need, we just need one of them right here. So X out, X out, X out, and even X out of this one, let's start from scratch, scratch X out. Okay. So now click on add event, the top right, and then hit the drop down. go to custom conversion, and then choose an event. You're going to see yours. There's your seller guide leads. 
I don't know how your shit got all messed up, Rebecca. I don't either. What the hell's going on here? I, all this, I told you all this already. I told you it stopped working, and you're like, no, it's it's working. Like, I I promise it's not. And that's when I turned to Facebook because I thought, well, if if it looks like it's working on one end, but I it's not working on the other end, maybe maybe Facebook is the one that can help me. And that's yeah. So no, I'm your Facebook. Rebecca, I'm your favorite yes. Facebook. So, <laughs> you're my, you're uh, my Yoda. I'm your Yoda. So click apply. And so that's all we need right there. Click apply and, and, and we're good. So yes, config. Yes, I, I confirm and then apply. Okay, so now, now here's what we do. We activate the actual um, conversion event. So, so now what we're going to do is we're going go to um, go to the three lines to the left and click on, um, click on, um, events manager. Let's click on events manager. And so now let's go to the blue triangle and then hover over that and click on custom conversions. And so now you'll see it over here inactive. This is the new custom conversion we just set up. So now go to the actual thank you page up at the top, schedule your call now and refresh this page. So if you refresh it, now Facebook reads the pixel again, and now they read the new, the new yeah, close out, close out that other one. Yeah, close out that one. So now they just read the new pixel. They just read the new custom conversion. So if you refresh this page. Um, oh. Active. So fail to load. Yeah, that that's fine. That that's just a random error. But now okay. the pixel or now the now the custom conversion is active. So now what we what did we just do? We just added the new pixel to the three pages, right? Landing page, thank you page, call confirm page. The custom conversion is set up around the thank you page. Okay. Now, what you also want to do is make sure that the custom that there's a custom audience set up around the thank you page as well. Custom audience around all three pages, really. So let's just double check that. Hit the three lines, go to audiences. And so let's see what audiences we have set up. So, okay, so we have um, special ad audiences. So so the yeah, you have, you have, I don't know where, I don't know where the US 1%, those are lookalike audiences, but I don't know why you would set those up right now. Those uh, are not even. Because it, it was US, I didn't, I didn't mean to do US. Check, check the box and just delete it. So just, um, yeah, hit that and then hit delete. Yeah, let's just, um, let's just clean this up really, really quick. The US 1%, you don't, you don't need um, you don't need those ones. And so what we'll do is let's go to um, let's go to you got scheduled appointments, seller guide, car video one, which are video video ones, which are good. What we want to do is we want to do the seller guide opt in page visitors only, and then and then seller guide lead. So let's edit this real quick. Click edit. Let's make sure this is the right link, which it should be. Um, so scroll down, you'll see the link right here. So, so yeah, perfect. So here is, is an audience of, of visitors only. We're excluding anyone who has ever landed on the thank you page, which is call confirmed and schedule call now or schedule call now and call confirmed for the appointment. So, so it's, it's visitors only. So that's good. That's a good, that's a good audience. Let's just go ahead and X that out. You're fine there or update audience, whatever but you're fine there. So X out the seller, uncheck that and then check the seller guide leads, seller guide leads down. So check this one, edit this one. So this is schedule call now. So that's, so that's good. That's the link, right? Schedule call now, mm -hmm. right? Schedule call now. Um, so you're good there. You don't need to exclude anyone, anyone there. So the audiences are, are, are there perfect. So now, now as we go and run a conversions ad, hit the three lines and I'll just walk you through the beginning part. We can run an ad later, but click on ads manager. So again, before you had, you had um, the conversion event under lead, quote unquote lead. But again, it's, it, it is lead, but it's not that word. It, it's, your, it's your word, which is seller's guide lead. That's your word. That's your custom conversion. So if we start from scratch, hit the green button, create, and let's go to conversions and then just hit continue. And then so now, as we just go hit special ad categories, go go housing, 
So now as we go to, and just hit next, as we go to the second step, which is the ad set level, that's the campaign level, the first level. The second level is the ad set level, step, step, step two. This is the ad set level. So now as we scroll down, we'll see our pixel. There's our pixel, 7883. There's our conversion event. So you had lead, right? Mm -hmm. it should have been that. So now as we come in, it's there by default. Sometimes it's not there by default. So X out, sometimes it's not there. Sometimes you'll see it red where there's nothing there and it's just blank. You'll have to hit click, hit the drop down and find your custom conversion, which is right there. But yeah, you went down and you clicked on lead, but, but no, we have our custom one. Okay. That's it right there. <laughs> My okay. <laughs> and then the rest of it should be the same from here on out. Right. Yeah, oh, oh. yeah. You know, everything else is the same. Yeah. And then, and then post it on the business page first, come over to the third step. Do I use the save audience? You, you, if you're retargeting, yeah. If you're retargeting, you can, you can click, click inside the box, search exist, existing audiences, and you'll just see a drop down of all your audiences. Okay. So I would, I would be retargeting um, video. So 15 seconds, for example, and okay. then retargeting opt-in page visitors only. And then, and then what you'll be doing, since you're now capturing leads, what you'll, you'll, what you'll also do, so you'll always, you're always retargeting those who are watching videos, previous videos, you're always retargeting page visitors only, and then you're always excluding, you're always excluding, so click, click away, click, click away. Click away, like yeah, just. Yeah, right there. And then you're always excluding leads. So click exclude. Now what we're going to do, click in the box. Now you're going to exclude leads and, and maybe even any appointments. So as you start to get appointments, you'll start to exclude that audience as well. Okay. Right. So, so, but for sure it's your leads. Since leads are coming in, you'll want to exclude that lead audience. Okay. Right. So yeah. you, got, you got the custom conversion. That's one thing, but then you got the audience. That's another. So you're excluding the audiences of the audience of, of leads. They don't need to keep seeing your ads. Okay. Okay. So we have a new pixel. We have a new custom conversion. Um, your audiences are, are good. And, and that's how you do the damn thing. Perfect.